Josh with Performance Lawns. Today I want to talk I want to talk to you about the power seeder, how it operates, how to adjust the the cutter blade height and the seed uh, flow rate. This is on the front of the machine. Has a pounds per thousand on this on this left side and at the bottom has the indicator settings. We are going to put down fet, tall fescue which is here and so this is this line here so we are going to put down six pounds per thousand simply take your finger six pounds per thousand out to here and that puts us down we need to put down uh, we need to set the machine to uh, indicator five okay this is the indicator here seed flow rate from the chart we're now going to take that setting and there's our number five. Simply turn the knob to loosen. Put that on number five. And it doesn't have to be exact. And tighten that back down. You flip the lever. When you flip the lever up on the uh, from the opposite position, this will slide over and make contact here. And that'll give you the proper seed rate to achieve six pounds per thousand. This is what the seed hopper looks like in the inside. Um, for the seed to flow out um, the flow rate holes, pull the uh, lever forward and then uh, the seed will begin to fall out those holes. While you're walking, this agitator will keep the seed moving. Shut the flow off. It looks like that. All right, so this lever here controls the the height of the cutter blades. Um, this all the way up. This is all the way up, so this is tra transport height. Um, to lower it down to where it makes contact to the soil, pull this knob out here, raise the machine a little bit, and drop it down to the height you need. So to put the uh, to Put the blades back up in the transport height. Simply just pull up on the machine, pull the knob out, and the lever all the way back to set the machine back down. Um, just about in every lawn, you want to be in about this second or third hole um, from this end. Um, <clears throat> right now, this second from the uh, last hole is 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 cutting pretty good if the machine starts to bog down um, make sure that uh, you may need to, to pull the blades out of the ground a little bit so go to the third hole to start the machine flip the machine on here at this at the kill switch you want to put, pull the choke on pull the throttle back a little bit and then pull the rope to kill the machine turn the kill switch off this machine is high sta hydrostatically driven so for the machine to go forward simply move this latch back and that is full speed this is half speed and then for reverse pull the lever all the way towards the handle um, for neutral flip this thumb switch up all the way and drop it in to the park slot there. This is for the turn the seed flow on and on, on and off. So in this position here, that is off, and that is on. There is also um, indicators for not also for the transmission lever and the seed flow lever. Off position for the cutting blades. Turn those on. You want to start the machine, get it up to full. Uh, run speed pick the machine off the ground flip this lever le lever forward set the machine back on and then start making your passes again come to a stop put the uh, hand lever there in the neutral position 
turn the seat off, and then the cutter blades. All right, quick overview. We're, we're putting down at six pounds per thousand. We're gonna follow that all the way to the our green line, and we want to put it on the setting number five. So we go to the front of the machine, loosen the knob, put it on number five, tighten that back down. We want to adjust our blade height, lift the machine up a little bit. The operation of the seating machine. Now we're going to show you how to correctly line up for each row and then how far the spacing needs to be in between each pass. So I'm going to go through and start the machine, get everything going. I'm going to make a, cut, going to make a, uh, a couple feet uh, length pass. I'm going to turn around. You're going to see me shut off the flow rate. I'm going to leave the blades on. Uh, the seed flow rate, you're going to see that being turned off. Then we're going to turn around and come back uh, down the same position. Turn the machine on. Do a little choke. If you can see, there's little furrows here um, that are an inch apart, okay? So as we know, the machine has a little bit, there needs to be some uh, overlap from the edge of the machine and the tires. So once you turn around and make that pass to come back around, make sure your tires are back on your previous pass, your inside tires are on your previous pass so that there's proper so there's no gaps of where the seed will come up. I've seen where gaps have come in lawns from this being not, uh, the passes not being properly overlapped. And so in, in the, once this seed germinates, you'll see very wide passes of, and it will be very noticeable because there won't be any seed there. So make sure that, uh, again, make sure that you're, you have sufficient overlap so there's proper seed width in between each pass.